On June 23rd, Microsoft announced Windows 11, the next reiteration of the Microsoft operating system, bringing a new refresh look and functionalities. But hey, Ty here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. So, since two days ago, Windows 11 is available for the insiders. And because I'm an insider since the Windows Vista, Windows 7 here, well, it's time to check it out together and see if this new operating system is gonna disrupt our virtual reality headsets and the software. So in this video, we're gonna test it with the three major platforms, Oculus, of course, Steam VR with the Valve Index and the Windows Mixed Reality, and that is going to be very interesting because the entire software was completely based on Windows 10. Will it work? Will it change performance? What are great features that you're going to introduce? Well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. Well, first of all, this one that I'm using is a very early version of Windows 11. It's actually the first version available to the insiders. So, well, of course, it's gonna have some bugs and stuff like that, and probably it's not gonna reflect completely the experience that we're gonna have later this year when Windows 11 is gonna release, or also earlier next year when the update is gonna be available for everyone. By the way, apparently many different people are having issues understanding if their computer can actually use Windows 11 or not, they made it kind of difficult to understand it. So there's an app, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can check if it's available or not. But one thing that you have to be sure of is that you have the TPM 2.0 on in your BIOS, so uh, check it out over there. If it doesn't work, well, in my case, PTT worked as well. That is a software version of the TPM as a protection uh, software security. So check it out and your PC should be compatible, of course, if you follow all the other requirements. By the way, even if Windows 11 in the Insider version looks already very good and works pretty well, I really don't suggest you to install it because, of course, it's not final software and it will compromise your productivity and stuff. I actually moving, so I'm not gonna bring my big PC with me right away. I'm gonna use a laptop over there. There's gonna be always Windows 10 till the end. And with this one, I said like, you know what? Let's do it, let's install there so we can test for everyone and uh, I'm doing it so you don't have to. And, and that's the main point of this video. Let's see if everything works and what to expect from it. By the way, beside the visual overall, well, Windows 11 is gonna bring two amazing features that I hope we're gonna see also arriving in VR soon. And one is Auto HDR. This is a feature that Microsoft was already using on the Xbox console. I'm actually using it, it works very well. So pretty much an your game that don't support HDR out of the box and create a HDR-like experience. And using AI, the bright spot will be enhanced and of course the dark spot will be darker. So it's gonna give you an experience that is not like a native HDR, but is very, very close to it. Now, unfortunately, correct me if I'm wrong, we don't have any HDR headsets on the market, so we're not gonna be able to test it yet. I know the PSVR was one of those, but well, of course, it's PlayStation VR. And well, probably older headsets like the Oculus Rift, if the Vive being OLED displays probably were able to use HDR, but we never had actually support for it. So it's great that the support will be out of the box for games that didn't support it at the beginning in the moment that we have actually HDR headsets. Point number two is equally awesome and equally arriving from the Xbox software part is direct storage. Now for this, we're gonna need an NVMe SSD and also one of the latest graphic cards from Nvidia and MD. But the point of this is to make the loading and the loading of assets of games much, much faster. How does it work? Well, usually your gaming assets goes from the SSD to the CPU and then the CPU use it and transfer it to the GPU. Instead with direct storage, the SSD and the GPU are gonna be able to communicate directly and slashing the loading times for games and their assets. And that's a great thing in VR because we all know that waiting in the loading screen in VR is even worse than any other game because you're just there waiting, stand it up and something like it. So if loading can be much, much better and much faster in something that is absolutely welcome in a VR space. Of course, there are many more features arriving, like also Android apps on Windows 11, but it's not really what interests us when it comes to VR. All right, so starting with the Oculus software, the installation was just a breeze, exactly like it was happening on Windows 10. And the computer recognized right away the Oculus Quest 2 when connected exactly like before. The home was exactly the same, looking at the desktop was exactly the same, and I started, of course, an Oculus game to try from the other sons, and uh, yeah, it was working 
exactly like you would expect with the same frame rate, stable frame rate of course, completely playable indeed. So overall nothing changed, so I even started SteamVR to see if the link from the two uh, it was still present and uh, yeah, to my surprise it was still there, of course, and uh, everything worked like I would expect. Starting Boneworks, it worked exactly like to expect, and so yeah, I would say that there was a pass for the Oculus Quest 2 on Windows 11. And because we were on SteamVR, of course, then I connected the Valve Index to try SteamVR natively, of course, on Windows 11, and again, no issues at all. In the menu, everything it was fine. I even start Valheim. That, by the way, I made a video. Uh, you can find it in the up corner over there if you wanna check out the game because the mod is absolutely amazing. So even all the mod via Vortex and not, they were still there and uh, worked flawlessly as well. And flawless is something that we're gonna hear a lot in this video. The toolkits as FPS VR still worked and well then I started of course Half-Life Alex uh, to check it out and yeah it will work really perfectly, 120 Hz, very stable indeed on the Valve Index. After that, the last to check was of course Windows Mixed Reality with the HP refer to do. I went through the installation again because of course, updating Windows to Windows 11, I lost all the files of the Windows Mixed Reality portal. And yeah, to my surprise, the software there was exactly the same. Again, nothing changed. Here we have an early build, so they're still probably not working on redesigning everything. But the thing that actually surprised me is that when you click on the store, this time the new store is gonna open instead of the old one. There are not many VR games on the Windows Store anyway, I would not use it, but uh, it seems like they want to expand to different stores, so if we can bring Steam VR inside the Microsoft Store, it will be very interesting indeed for Windows Mixed Reality. But of course, because we won games, we have to try Steam VR, and the Steam VR opened right away. You always have to download, of course, the bridge from Steam VR to Windows Mixed Reality to be able to use it. That's automatic when you try to start it from the desktop. And yeah, again, as you may expect, everything worked in the exact same way. So that means not the best support ever, but yeah, if you wanna play games, you can. And uh, with the G2, the graphics are always pretty nice indeed. And here we guys, as you can see, all of three works without any problem. I have to say that the performers are still the same from before the update and after the update. So it seems like Windows 11 doesn't really compromise any compatibility that we had before with all this December software. It seems like and feel like just the skin of Windows 10 right now, to be honest, but a very deep skin because many different stuff, of course, uh, are changing in the operating system. It's curious that the Windows Mixed Reality portal looks exactly the same when it was so rooted in Windows 10 in its aesthetics. So hopefully we're gonna see an update there to make it more rounded, to make it more pleasing to the eyes and maybe a little more useful. But so far it's great that everything is working. So uh, our transition for Windows 10 to Windows 11, of course, if you wanna do it, is gonna be completely flawless and smooth, even with our old virtual reality headsets. Again, this is a very early version of the operating system, but I wanted to test it. So if someone of you were curious, well, uh, we know that everything is gonna work and we're gonna be fine. But of course, things may change in the future and then be able to mess up everything is working today. So yeah, fingers crossed for that. But of course, as I said before, I don't really recommend you to install it if you don't know what you're doing, because of course the system is not gonna be as stable as it was before. It's pretty stable to be an insider build, I'm gonna tell you, when I was uh, testing before the, uh, the first versions of Windows 7, a long time ago, they were very, very bad. This time instead, it's totally another thing. And that's why it really feels like it's just something on top of Windows 10, then a real revolution, like it happened from Vista to Windows 7. But overall, that was all guys. Are you also in the Windows 11 Insider build? Let me know in the comment below what you would like to see uh, improving uh, in Windows 11 for VR, besides the things that we talked about it at the beginning. Uh, also, maybe they're gonna start to make a better store for VR because the one that we had before was very, very bad and they're reworking uh, the entire store. So fingers crossed for it. Let's hope uh, something good is gonna come out of it also for our medium. But anyway, guys, as 
always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there. Return turn on further, also Patreon, prior access to videos. And at the same time, we have t-shirt, sticker, mask, 2021 item number one. Oh, we're also doing a giveaway. We're giving away one Oculus Quest 2 each month till the end of the year to celebrate 100K. So uh, make sure to check it out in the description below. Uh, the link is going to be there. But again, like, dislike, subscribe. Yeah, I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.